Hi everyone, and this is Andy with Blongo.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to automatically create a related record using a function in Zoho CRM. For this example, when a deal is moved to close one, it will create a related record in the jobs module. In the description, you can find a blog post with the written step-by-step -step tutorial, as well as the code that we're gonna to use today. All right, let's get started. There are two ways to create related records. The first one is to use the workflow action create a related records, but it is limited on what information you can pass to the related record. The other way is to use a function, and that's how we're going to do it in this tutorial. This is the deal we're going to use. And if we scroll down, we can see that we have these three fields that we would like to pass to the related record. It is a drop down field, a date field, and a user field. So besides creating the record, we're going to copy some information as well. The first thing we have to do is go to the CRM setup and then open the module where the related record is going to be created. In my case, I want to create a job after a DLS1. So I'm going to open the jobs module, which is a custom module and open the layout. Here, I already have the fields that need to be mapped from the deal, but I'm going to add one more field that would link these two modules. It is a lookup field. So let's drag and drop it. And in this new window, let's name it deal related. The module lookup is going to be deals. And the related list is going to be jobs. Click on done. Okay, we have all the fields we need. So let's save this layout. Now we have to create a function. In this tab, I already have the functions page open. We are going to create a new function. Let's add a name and a display name. The category is going to be automation. Click on create. The code is in the blog post. I have it open right here. Scroll down until you find the code. Select it. And copy it. Back to the function. And paste it right here. Next, we have to add an argument. So click on edit argument and add deal underscore ID as a string. This is the information that will be passed to the function from the workflow that we're going to create later. Click on save. And now I'm going to explain what the function does. But before I do that, I wanted to mention that we have created a Zoho one course for admins. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description. So the function first gets the deal information based on the deal ID. Then it grabs the information located in the different deal fields that we want to copy to the job. In this case, estimator, type, and closing date. The estimator is a user field. That's why we need to get the ID. Then it is creating the job record name, which is the word job and the deal name. Then it maps all the fields from the deal to the job record. Finally, it creates the record. You have to make sure that you're using the right API names in the function. The two most important fields are deal underscore related, which is the lookup field we added before, and jobs, which is the module API name. To find them, go to the API names in the CRM settings. These are all the module API names. If we scroll down, we can see the jobs module and on the right, the API name. To find API names, just open the module. Here is the deal related API name. You can switch to other modules with this filter. Okay, back to the function. At this point, you can click on save and execute if you want to test this function. In my case, I know it works, so I'm just going to save it. All right, the function is ready. So now we need to create a workflow. I have the workflow section open on this tab. Let's create a new rule. The module is deals. Add a name. And click on next. Here, select record action. Edit. Specific field gets modified. When the stage is modified to. The value. Close one. Next. This rule is going to apply to all deals. Next. And the action is going to be function. In this box, click on functions and click on configure next to the function we just created. This is the parameter we're passing to the function. So press the pound key 
module is deals and field is deal ID and click on save and associate. The workflow is ready, so let's save it. All right, we can now test if this automation works. Let's go back to the deal and refresh the page. On the related list, we can now see the jobs tab. Okay, let's move the deal to the close one stage, which will trigger the workflow. And refresh the page one more time. And now we can see that there's a record right there. So let's click on the list. The job record has been created and the name is job plus the deal name. Let's open it. And the three fields have been mapped correctly. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click the like button. If you're a Soho admin and would like to learn more about how to integrate the different Soho apps, we made a Zoho One course where we go over how to configure and integrate the top 10 most useful Zoho One apps. Check out the link in the description for more information. Thanks for watching.